Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town. I have been doing a few little bits and pieces here and there, just sort of tidying up things and um, adding bits and pieces like the uh, the cotton's now all done. Uh, putting the train stations in and then half an hour or so later remembering to actually connect the train stations to the train tracks. Yep, yep, sat here for a while going like, hmm, why aren't we getting any wood or cotton? What's going on here? Oh, the trains are just stuck here because they're not actually, they have nowhere to get out. Oh. Um, however, this has been running, this has been doing things, and this has been producing books. Look, we have 10 boxed books here. We've got 200 and something books in here, which is nice, fantastic. Um, I do not know why I did this the way I did this. Um, let, me, let me rephrase that. I'm going to pause the game before this uh, overfills it. So, um, uh, these require four paper and two cloth. I should have had four uh, storages for paper in here, two storages for cloth, and then two for books. So, I'm going to change this one to be uh, paper, and this one to be paper. I do it evenly usually because it just makes more sense, but if the recipe desires more of one thing than another, it makes sense to have a bigger storage for that. We are struggling for cotton. Um, the train is, there's the cotton train. It's just had another delivery there, which is awesome. Uh, may have to update uh, or up the workers. I went up to two, we've got up to three workers in here now. However, yeah. Um, the actual cotton themselves haven't uh, grown. That's 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 the thing we're getting here. We're getting a couple of uh... yeah. The cotton affinity isn't doing fantastic. It will do better over time. It will do much better over time. Uh, see, this has got wood affinity to it, so this should be even worse. To be honest with you. But then, um, what we want to do, we want to harvest it as quickly as possible, get it to regrow, and then the affinity changes. So you see here, the uh, the affinity is fifty percent. Every time it grows, and you get the little heart that pops up, um, but uh, the affinity increases by, I think, two percent. However, if the affinity belongs to somewhere else, I think cotton's all fine. Yeah, cotton's all fine. Um, do, do, do. So, for some bizarre reason, the affinity to this one is earthstone. <laughs> Um, every time this grows, it lowers by it lowers the old affinity by one percent. So it's got to grow a hundred times to get this down to zero. And then it's got to grow fifty times to get it up to hundred percent for itself because it's, it increases by two every time. So let's see if we can find one that's going to grow very soon. This one looks like it's almost done. Yeah, growth phase almost done. So it's on two percent. Um, it'll get a little pop up heart. Um, Boom, there you go, and if I unclick that and then re-click it, 4%. So yeah, so it gains 2% on its own affinity and removes 1% from our previous affinity. So uh, yeah, so let's see here. So this one's 95%, what's this one? 99%, this is 89% affinity. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. We believe in you. Uh, oh, it did do it. Boom. And now it's 88% affinity. I must have missed the heart pop up. So, yeah. So, yeah, it needs 100 gross before it drops down. Um, so, yeah. Um, we're not using that much, unfortunately, uh, which is a little bit of a, a pain. But um, it's okay. It's okay. So, three workers seems like that's the maximum this can deal with for running, unless we put any boosts in this. Um, it's getting enough in to saturate the packer which is also saturating the uh, belt which is quite nice so this is running at full speed right now the only way we can make it faster is to add another belt which we could do we could absolutely do um no reason why i couldn't add the two belts off here be separate and then we could add coin boosters to this because we can deal with that we've got a million we've hit a million yellow coins we could deal with some coin boosters however i don't think we need that necessarily um these do not look like they're backing up at all. Uh, mind you, none of this is actually delivering anywhere yet. So uh, I don't know what the actual throughput requirements are for cotton. Um, so we are producing. So this is 150%, ignoring the, the happiness bonus, because the happiness bonus 
should also apply to the cotton, but then we're trying to deal with throughput, so you kind of do need to increase the happiness balance. Oh, my chairs will go creaky. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say we need more, basically. I, th I think I think we need we need we need more. This train's kind of close by, so it's doing the best it can. And I think this is. We might have to actually boost this and add a second layer in. So, so what? How? Let's let's um. Let me stop those two because I need to move this here. If we're gonna put more layers in, I need to move this here. So. Let's remove that there, that there, and remove this one for the time being. I don't know where we're going to go with this. Uh, I'm going to come out here, go down like so. And same here, we'll come out here. Oh, we'll come out here, go to there. Okay, so that gets that one out of the way. Cool, cool, cool. And then, if we were to put in a row on top of this, could we do a complete row on top just with a and then input directly in there. Oh, that's, that's warm my eyes. Whoa. <laughs> uh, it was a bit close to the movement there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Move you across to here. Let's turn you off for a moment. What the? What? 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 Come down to there, and come all the way along. Hopefully, yep. To here, to there, and to there. That should still input into there. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's put that in there. Copy paste. Boom. There you go. Okay, and then we can add a coin boost to this. And the coin boosters uh, use coins to increase the uh, production speed. So yeah, just adding one coin boost to that is enough to uh, slow this all down, which means we can then increase this here. Ta -dum. So we basically saturate these. Um, yeah, We've got five workers, we'll go halfway, bump. I think that's pretty close to completely saturating the outputs on this. I feel like six would probably be too much. Yeah, six is too much. It's, start, it's starting to fill the output. So it can't, the farm can't actually output any more than that. So go with five. The happiness bonus will break this as well. This will go up again. Uh, we could put another um, layer on that coming out there. So we could, we could do that. Unfortunately, now we're at the point where we can't actually output fast enough onto the belts because we need another belt, which we can do. We can do another belt. That's, that wouldn't, wouldn't be a problem. Um, let's put this back here and this back here. So these these are the houses that live by those. And then I put you back here. Um, I moved the houses because I was copying. I copied this and pasted it down here. So yeah, um, uh, we do get this though. We do get, we are obviously going to kill the, um, the the cotton very very quickly so that's why however that means that if we, if we harvest it ridiculously quickly so it's popping up and then being harvested that means it's going to grow faster which means the affinity increases and as the affinity increases the yield gets more so you end up getting a faster throughput not necessarily more cotton because you are limited by the farm speed but you definitely get faster throughput right and then once we get to a certain point we can actually add um 
farm tiles to it, which increases the amount of cotton you get from them as well, which again means that the uptime of the farm is faster for more food throughput. With farm tiles, you can add water and fertilizer to make them even faster as well. We have fertilizer over here. I don't think we're storing it anywhere. No, we're just kind of wasting it here. Um, but we could store the fertilizer and use it in farms. So, um, yeah, so you can increase and increase and increase. And if it turns out we're just not producing enough cotton because we need more, we can put another farms in because we have space for that. We have, we have farm. Actually, here would be a good place to put it. Put it there. Um, and uh, just tap onto the end of these these runs here. So, but um, until this actually is empty, until I see the train parked here waiting, then, yeah. But I think, I think it's going to be okay. Everything is backing up. I'm kind of doing that on purpose. Um, I want to see everything kind of back up and fill up all the way back to the station. So the trains are parked here, just like these ones are. So the trains are parked here. Um, and that's how we know everything runs and works and fine. However, this actually needs to be running even faster than what we currently have it running at. So they all need steam boosters added to them, uh, which is a bit of a pain for two reasons. Uh, one, we're not making steam pipes, and two, we're not making iron wheels. And you need those to do them. We've got 400 iron wheels. Um, and we need um, 40, 80, uh, Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, 40, 80, uh, 120. <laughs> It'll be 240 to upgrade all of these to uh, to that. So that's going to be like half around wheels. And we're not making that many steam pipes. We should do that. We should do that. Let's let's go over to our industry. Boop. Over here. Um, we also need to put um, belts onto the delivery system. So the belts need to come and have a train down here. Um, Something is wrong here, however. Eh, you're just slow, so you need steam boosters as well. Because uh, this is not keeping up. This is not keeping up with... Um, it needs more iron. It's just not getting enough iron. That's, that's fine for us for our purposes because uh, we don't we use these to build with but if we um uh you you i can't a button on the barn the barn's fully upgraded uh that's broken um i kind of want to push that i kind of i kind of want oh it's just letting me oh it's just is, is it just was it just broken no, you're fine. I guess that barn was just broken. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, so um, it's fine for if we're just using it. But if we want to actually uh, use the metal rods ourselves, uh, the metal come out ourselves to sell it for um, for use in other way, uh, for use elsewhere, like the there uh, in knowledge, we're going to have to up the ante for this. So we might have to build a second one. And have like two of them running and then basically just say hey would you always keep back like 500 belts for us or something you can you can do that you can absolutely have these just have um just make them an input they don't output so it will, it will hold on to the first ones we could do both we could say hey hold on to 250 and another 250 and that means you'll have a thousand belts stored for us and then yeah which would mean they'd have to extend this out which um i mean we're fine for throughput on this i think uh, what I'm concerned about is that this just isn't fast enough. But we can add workers to this or add quite, um, steam boosters to this as well. Let's duplicate this here. Um, in fact, let's duplicate. The whole shebang. Uh, I want just the middle one, please. I'll go over there. Okay. Uh, now we need to what's this producing? metal rails, don't we need rails as well? hold on hold on, hold on. Uh, here, yes we need rails as well so I want, to, I want to duplicate the other side as well what's this? metal conveyor belts, we did that we did that 
That's a message from old me. Do, 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 do. I'm going to just grab the one here. This, okay. And of course, um, never planned on moving this forward any further, but I haven't built it in a way that makes it make any sense. Uh, that's okay because what we can do is this there's that one as well Let's um, do this. Copy that, I think, there. Yes. Cool. Okay. And then you would connect to there. You would connect to there. You put in a splitter there and a splitter there. We just put that on the face that way. Okay. Let's look at the ratios again here to make sure we're going to increase the thing. So we need to go back here. So this now needs to be a three. This is a uh sorry, straight on is a two. Straight on is a one with a zero here. And then you're not supposed to in there. Uh, you are gonna be uh a zero on that side there and a one one that's fine doop -doop -doop. okay you can to there you can to there you can to there And we go back here and do exactly the same again. So we need to go four now. Four. And oh, I've done six. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, this needs to go eight. So three. Three. Six. And two. Two. One one zero uh zero zero and two. And you are one one zero. Okay. Cool. Oh, there we go. So now that will keep all the things even all the way down the line. That should be fine for us. Yada yada yada, no problem at all. Okay, so let me turn off the outputs on those two let me turn off the outputs on those two so we have uh the 500 stored there firstly it will always fill the input ones first regardless of where you put them i believe um if you did if you did it this way um but even though that's one i think it always fills the input ones first before the rest of them i i believe um Let's see here. Uh, nope. To light, it's filling the top one first. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't fill the input ones first. So, so the order of things is important because if if we didn't have if these were set to output, it would output before it ever gets to fill these ones at the bottom. So yeah. So the top ones want to be your input only. So yeah, it feeds from the top. Okay. I thought if I thought it always it was smart enough to feed the input ones first, but that might be for other buildings. That might I might be thinking about something to do with this. Uh, yes, yes, if you have multiple recipes in a building, uh, if you have multiple recipes in the building, um, so if this had, um, 
because because the, this is producing uh, uh metal gears and this is producing uh conveyor belts obviously so if we had this so it was um they did gears and conveyor belts when the gear was made the first gear that was made would go into its input for the next recipe and then once the input is full it would go to the output for exporting so yeah we could change all these to make them all do conveyor belts and gears the problem with that is it just it won't work for us it just simply won't work because we're not having the throughput of iron that we need so we need to increase that which means we need to increase our steam production um however this will work fine here so uh, i want to change these as well so let's store a uh, thousand rails here as well okay you're guessing the thing you're guessing the thing you're getting those stone up because i messed the stone delivery up Okay, so now you can produce rails over here as well. Cool. And all of these are producing rails. That'll, that'll be cool. Okie dokie. Cool. There's rails going in. Nice. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what do we need? We need we need to produce producing steam pipes and we need to producing iron wheels. Steam pipes we also want over here, don't we, your knowledge? Um, aren't they used here? And iron wheels used here. So we need to produce these anyway. Um uh to pack it out see that's how we're not packaging these um but that's easy i'll put a packager like here and we'll just have this feed to this one this feed to this one and then we'll package out and same here we'll package out like that that'll be the easiest way to do that yep okay let's do that now so i don't forget so there package there pack into crate pack into crate <laughs> pack it in would you Okay, I'll stop now. I'll stop. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, doop, doop, doop. And then we go, you come out to there. You come out to there. Uh, copy that, paste that. Whoa. And you come out to there. You come out to there. Copy that, paste that. Doop, doop. Okay. And I said, it will only output this many here. So, Input means it's an input only. Output means it's an output only, which means you can't go in put into it with be with belts. Um, and storage means it's both. Um, and then obviously you can have it turned off. So so that so so the, this output here means we cannot belt in um, conveyor belts. In you, you can't belt into this machine this item. So you can't use the machine as a throughput. Kind of wish you could, um, uh, but you can't you can't change these. These are not um, allowed. To, uh, you can you can delete the contents if you need to clear them out for whatever reason uh, but there's no way to set them to allow things to, so i couldn't have this machine chop build uh well uh, this machine chop build belts and then then this machine chop put the belts into this one which puts into another one which would let you build rotor machines which would be nice because then you could have them throughput so you know it would it would input into the this one and then once it's full it would output to the next one like each machine should have a little for storage or that you build more things but that's not how the game works so it's not it's a shame it's a shame you can't do that that would be quite useful um okay boom, 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 boom. uh the problem with this now is that we are getting to a point where we are now not delivering enough iron down the line so we need to speed that up the only way i can see to speed that up would be to add extra grabbers from here grabbing goods out of this which means we need more throughput for that but let's um not get ahead of ourselves here let's go back here where are we going here so we're making oh we are making steam pipes here uh and making iron plates there for us so that's cool you're doing iron plates which go up to here to make the reinforced ones there. one stores for us one delivers so so we've already done that sort of this sort of thing here I'm just doing something a bit different here with the delivery um, on this. We could have done the same with this here. I could put this in the center and have uh, a barn fill up with half the stuff for us. And then we split the load between the two. Um, the 
depends on how I want the priorities to be. I mean, technically this should be our storage and then this one should be for delivering. That would make more sense. Would make a lot more sense if we did that. Let's let's do that instead. I bet you're full again, aren't you? Yeah, you're full again. Um, let's just change these back to where they were. Um, get rid of this for a minute. Put this over here, put that there. Um, and I want to... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll empty you into that one. And that. And, oh, pause this. Uh, let's... Um, hmm. Can't really do a great deal with this one. Because <laughs> we've got too many rails. Uh, I'm just going to delete this one. Okay, just delete that one. That's fine. And then this one will go off to train. train, And then this one will go off to train. So, yeah. And then that'll make a lot more sense for us. I think like that. Uh, so we've got one area dedicated to us which is the first one on the on the bus and then this one's dedicated to us so this one will fill well actually they, they'll fill evenly because of the way we've done the ratios here but yeah this um yeah no yes maybe i don't know what's happened here mm. oh yeah Oop, i need to tick those boxes to let it output so it can fill this one with that one okay uh right brum, brum, brum. that'll be fine that'll be fine that's doing that thing there that's fine brum. uh i said we are producing steam pipes but we need to output the steam pipes which is a bit of a problem because yeah it's kind of in the way um i also want to be producing uh the iron wheels we need to out export the iron wheels and um store them for us so we need two of those where do i put those jesus um steel pipes are made from oh they're oh so, so steam pipes are made from the raw iron right okay whereas i think iron wheels are made in here aren't they yeah and they're made from uh, from the actual iron so I could put that in here uh, and go there um, and put steam pipes down here to be exported that's on the end but this is this needs a faster belt on it <laughs> or I need to um split the belts down uh, i'm tempted to put this i'm tempted to do steam pipes and um iron wheels over here uh, you produce the iron which goes up to these ones this you're producing the nails nails fortunately haven't been needed anywhere else for us uh yeah if we put the steam pipes and that in here and then these ones will be the export ones and that's just steam pipes for us and then maybe we could put in iron wheels down here and tap off this one that's an input isn't it so you are even making sure the inputs are even there uh, for us because iron plates are needed to build things right let's uh let me copy this put that there do you know what i'm gonna do this um you want to be set to iron wheel copy paste 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 you guys have got two workers in oh okay Oh yeah, yeah, because we figured out we needed two workers in the uh, gear one to run faster than we here. Yeah. 
Okay. So you're gonna be iron wheel. You're gonna be iron wheel. Well, paste, 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 paste. Okay. And then put dub dub and put dub dub at uh, you. Uh, nope. You're gonna be a packager. Pack into crate. Um, you are going to be filtered to iron wheels. Uh, I don't know how many I actually need stored for iron wheels. Not a lot. Not a lot. So I'm not going to use a full barn here. I'm actually going to use a, a default barn, which only stores 200. Uh, now it only stores 400. Nope, don't do that. We want to use a default barn. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that button there. There you go. 200. Because, I said, if I had steam boosters, it's 10 per go. If it stores 200, that means I can upgrade 20 buildings in one hit and then just wait for it to refill. Uh, I don't think we're going to upgrade 20 buildings in one hit. If we did the whole thing here, what's that? 4, 8, 12, uh, 16, I mean 32, uh, 36, so that's 4, 440, 420. Um, we'd need in one go. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine with that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap off of these. So you go into there, you go into there, but I'm going to put in pushes to make sure you prioritize the um, reinforced banks. Do those first. Okay, and then change this to be I will. And that should do. Okay, I don't want to store loads of them there. And then this is a packager that comes out and will ship off to um, the belts that's needed. Awesome. And then I'm just going to grab this in its entirety and paste it there, deleting that in a packager like so. Okay. Um, and then we're going to drag out, you know, put in those, uh, drag out this and do. that thank you and then drag out this one and do that so you're gonna have one forward you're gonna have no right one left one forward which means I need to up all the reach ratios behind here by one cool. okay and that should get all the things we need for uh, making the things we now need to do more things so we can do steam boosters in the next episode thank you very much for watching everybody i do hope you have enjoyed this one and i do hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun